Ah, fallen empires, sitting in their vestiges, chilling out. We've talked about them before, how they look down upon the newer races, the younger races within the galaxy, while subsequently being told pretty much all the time by John Sheridan to get the hell out of the galaxy. Normally, would not be able to build ships, or they would not be able to do any colonization. However, if the following situations are met, or potentially met, a awakening event can start up where they lose all these uh, abilities and start conquering everything that is not a bolted to the wall. As soon as a species reaches 40,000 fleet power combined, a clock will start ticking, where there is a mean time of 50 years that a fallen empire will start awakening. However, if a player or other empire has managed to conquer a fallen empire world from any of the other fallen empires that are available, they have the tendency to wake up as well and start their righteous conquest of the galaxy at large. Now these awakened empires technically come in five different flavors, but for now we're gonna focus on the four main ones as number five, was added in Synthetic Dawn, but is not really applicable to the current situation. These four will give you the opportunity to sign on to a special pact or alliance where they can invite you to it and they will protect you during the duration of this pact. Sometimes, however, they will demand that you need to go and sign this pact and if you don't, they will declare war, etc. What are these ones? What are these Awakened Empires? Let's take a look, shall we? First of all, we got the Benevolent Interventionists. They are the Awakened versions of Enigmatic Observers. Their pact is a special signatory where no diplomatic autonomy, purchase, or slavery can happen in any of the signatory empires, but the Benevolent Interventionists will join any war if you are attacked, and it's basically a defensive alliance that's quite good to pacifists and egalitarians. Then we have the Deus Volt equivalent of Solaris, the Doctrinal Enforcers, who are the Waken Up variants of the Holy Guardians. And their alliance is a Dominion, where you have to pay 25% of your energy and mineral income, plus there is a chance that you will shift to Fanatic Spiritualist. However, if you're a Gestalt Empire, this does not apply to you, so keep on numbing on all of those Xenos and Biomass, but hey, at least they will sometimes show up to defend your stuff. Then there is the Watchful Regulators. They will in fact mound up and uh, any of their stealing of their property uh, will not happen because they are the awakened versions of the Keepers of Knowledge. You can become a satellite where you will pay 33% of your research production and also have to outlaw AI because, well, let's put it this way, AI is terrible because the contingency could show up as well. Well, finally, there are the Jingoistic Reclaimers. Remember those militant isolationists that we were talking about the last time around, where they did not allow anybody to come near their territory in terms of, um, yeah, building anything? Well, you can become a Thrall, where you cannot build new star bases, and you have to pay 25% of your energy and mineral income, but uh, you, at least you can declare war on other Thralls within the Thrallish Empire, so you can at least grow a little bit. So that right there is at least positive. So is it a good idea to enter in any of these four packs? Well, that's completely up to you. If you are a relatively weak empire, it may be a good idea to sign up to, say, the Signatories or the Dominion, Satellite, and Thralls, because in a sense, you will be protected from all the species around you, which can be helpful. And especially in the Thrall setup, you could actually grow a little bit whilst not being attacked by those around you. Still, should you sign? Personally, I don't think so. It's uh, not all that strong. And by the time that uh, they are awakening, you should be able to hold them off uh, for an extended period of time. Of course, this is all your choice. If you own the Leviathan's expansion pack, upon awakening, an Awakened Empire may pick a rival. It's not always 100% their opposite ethic, but there is a good chance that it is. Once Awakening, there is a 60% chance that a rival will be picked. Once this rival has been picked, there is a certain amount of time, around 10 years, that the other Fallen Empire that they have picked as their rival will awaken as well. Once this has happened, a certain event chain will start. This is called the War in Heaven. Once the second rival has woken up, there is a chance that after two years a war in heaven 
will start. This will not happen if one of the rivals is currently at war or has a fleet power below 40,000. And after this time, of course, once the requirements are met, there is a chance that after every five years, a war will start. Now, what is a war in heaven? A war in heaven is a total war between both factions. That means that only one will walk out. Whether or not you are a signatory or a thrall or anything along those lines, if you are allied to any of these awakened empires at this time, you will join the war in heaven on the side of such empire. When a war in heaven starts, every single empire will be given a very special event, and this event is called The Choice. This choice is made up of three answers. These answers are as following. Will you join the first Awakened Empire, the other Awakened Empire, or will you not pick a side. All three options are reasonable. If you are, for instance, an empire that is not in a federation and you are of similar ethics as one of the empires, then potentially joining them may be a good idea. If you are, of course, within a reasonable amount of firepower, then you can stay independent. Uh, genocidal empires will never pick a side in this particular war, so do be aware of that. After a while, however, there is the invitation to join the League of Non-Aligned Powers. Now, the Non-Aligned Powers are, of course, the powers that are not taking part in this gigantic struggle. Now, what happens here is, is that a special alliance will be started where a leader needs to be picked. It's usually the player and effectively will join the war uh, in heaven versus the other two fallen empires, or at least in this case, awakened empires. Now, once the war is won by one awakened empire, the other awakened empire will die instantly. But also the vassals of said winning empire will Earn planets of the vassals of the other Awakened Empire. Please keep this in mind if you're going to go and join an Awakened Empire. It's a good way to get new planets. Of course, you can tell them to go screw themselves and get the hell out of the galaxy, etc. So that is, of course, an option as well. When it comes to assaulting or going into any sort of warfare against fallen empires, I highly recommend taking a look at the following video. It talks about fallen empires and their weapon systems. But in the meantime, I hope that you've learned a little bit about awakened empires and their functionality. Yes, I am aware that we have not taken uh, a look at the ancient caretakers. That is going to be a separate video because we need to touch upon the contingency yet again because it's been a while and especially considering the pop system has been introduced, things have changed ever so slightly in the meantime we're gonna go wrap it up here if you felt this was a interesting video feel free to give it a like and or subscribe for more solaris as well as other content but in the meantime we're gonna go wrap it up here until next time take good care of yourselves and as always each other